here are some of the highlights from the Consumer Electronics Show so far. Imagine yourself going to the dealership. Let me give you a use case. And instead of walking the lot to look at the different colors or having the salesperson bring you the different vehicles and finding them and all that, imagine going to a showroom in which everything can be done virtually. Color scheming, how the car looks. Some folks uh, would like, he's like, I gotta drive the car. So yeah. absolutely. Well, you how can do you do that in a virtual metaverse? Uh, you, you can do it, you can do it. Although ultimately, you know, some folks wanna see the real thing, right? Well, you're so, gonna start to see not only more and more TV shows that are gonna be connected to these immersive experiences, oh. but we are gonna start uh, seeing experiences at theme parks. Oh, we are wow. gonna start seeing experiences connected to retailers. You might walk into a shop in the very near future where maybe the experience is gonna be a combination of something that is gonna be able uh, to be accessed physically, but also things that you're gonna be able to access through advanced devices that are gonna be available on those stores. What the hardware is actually doing is providing safety. If you lose your phone, you can come back and and the third key in the system is held by block in what we call cloud recovery services. And so what that does is if customers lose one of their two keys, they can easily regain access to their funds by working with us. Oh. And that's why we want folks to, to leave the hardware at home. The other thing that the hardware does is provide an added layer of security for uh, transactions above the limit that customers set. So for payments applications is we see the utility of Bitcoin expanded and, and folks can actually buy buy and sell goods and services using Bitcoin, uh, we imagine that happening via the app. Any brand wants one thing is increase the footfall, attract people, grab attention, right? Everybody understands that right now consumers are very savvy. It's hard to grab attention to bring them into the retail space. What they want from holographic solutions and from us to create that unforgettable experience where they can actually provide interaction experience, immerse with technologies for, for, for the generation, for the people coming into the retail stores. I wholeheartedly believe that the world's next Coco Chanel is probably a 10 year old girl designing skins in Roblox, okay. right? I think that those are the new and up and coming designers. And I mean, the fashion industry and the tech industry have never been closer than, than right now. Do you think you see a world where cryptocurrencies will be used to purchase cars? You know, we will see. Crypto is still an emerging trend, and, and I think definitely in our transactional future, there is a place for cryptocurrency, and consumers are enthusiastic about the opportunity with crypto being, you know, really a uh, decentralized kind of a, a transaction. There are no intermediaries peer to peer. Uh, and so, yeah, I think as we move forward with metaverse and Web3 applications, a lot of this will also involve 5G, artificial intelligence. We'll see more interest in crypto grow.